to give you a flavor of the event, he said, vive le Quebec libre from the balcony of City Hall overlooking uh, you know, a crowd of, what, 100,000, I, I think? Yeah, yeah. No? Oh. Maybe 10, 20,000. OK. <laughs> so the, uh, so many, they, they explode in, uh, in applause. Um, and, uh, and indeed, it transforms the, uh, the atmosphere of Montreal. Uh, but the next day, he's coming to tour Expo. But and but the air is charged with electricity, so he comes to and I'm I'm a reporter. I've got a press pass and I'm with the gang of reporters following him. But somehow, I got the gang goes one direction. I was distracted somewhere else, and suddenly I'm alone. And uh, here comes the goal heading for me. You know, with an entourage behind him. But uh, so what are you going to do? You know, you sort of say bienvenue, mon général. Which was a political thing to do at that time, but he just said, you know, if you look at and uh, what's he going to do? He, so he shook my hand, his big hands, a big man, at which point four or five very burly French uh, security service men in trench coats just knocked me over like a bowling pin. Uh, nevertheless, I recovered, and then in, 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 the, uh, in the press room later, De Gaulle sat down, and there was a group of people here, and, and uh, other reporters, and De Gaulle said, uh, I think he said, je suis fatigué, I'm tired. And so all the reporters suddenly said, what did he say? Qu'est-ce qu'il a dit? What did he say? <laughs> and I said, well, je pense qu'il disait qu'il est fatigué. I think I said, he said, headlines around the world. And, you know, the guy could drop dead of a heart attack, right? <laughs> je suis fatigué, de Gaulle. <laughs> so I've got the headlines still. So, uh, <laughs> and nothing, the story isn't here anyway. Just to give you a little flavor of the day, that's all. <laughs> <laughs>